Good morning folks, what's happening? Drew's Farming Life back again today. But first, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. You will help me out greatly and I am forever thank you. I am forever thankful for everything that you all do for me because if it wasn't for you, the viewers, I wouldn't be here at all. <laughs> and uh, also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that is also there as another option of seeing what I am up to in my day-to-day -day life. I'm trying to be a lot more active than I have been before. I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> So, in today's video, well at the moment I am about to hitch up the float again because I've got some cull cows going away to the markets, I'm just getting that ready to go, but I am going to be moving the roller on <laughs> the bruiser, <laughs> it moved again, so I'm going to take it apart because the mechanic was up a few days ago and uh, it seems to have moved a wee bit. So what I'm going to do is over exaggerate how much I'm moving the roller so that it hopefully doesn't move again. Or if it does move, it's not fly landing on my nose. Uh, if it does move again, it'll hopefully move and settle where it's supposed to be. So I'll try and move it right along tighten the bearings back up and then that means that it's hopefully going to settle nicely because last night the bearing, not the bearing, the roller was glowing red at the side because it's rubbing that hard against the side of the, the, the bruiser. I'm getting stuck in my words here today. <laughs> so I that's what's going to be in today's video, so let's get straight to it and not bore you with hitching up a float. Forgot to ask, how many of you are, or where at, because I, I, maybe I'll post this after, I am uh, this, I don't know the day, is it the 21st? This is the 21st of September. How many of you are at the Plowing Championships in Ireland? That looked like it was a bit of a wet hole over there, it's been a bit of a wet hole here, but where is were over there, Jesus, floods everywhere, I've seen the sheep game floating, I've seen videos, numerous videos of everything floating, didn't they look ideal at all, <laughs> definitely no ploughing getting done, uh, as long as you had a good time, that is the main thing I suppose. <laughs> Ah, maybe one year I'll try and venture over to it. Looks like it would be a bit of crack, you know. <laughs> of course, as always, as soon as I've started to do anything this week, it's started raining. As you can see here, it's kind of it's black. It started going, going red and sparking a lot, so. Just annoying, but we'll see what like I can do the day. <sighs> Whether I can sort it and uh, see whether or not that can solve the issue and stop it from happening again anytime soon. Oh. Take it round, take it apart, get my hammer, and beat the hell out of it! <laughs> oh, annoying, annoying, annoying. finger in behind there. That's no use. You can actually see all the metal filings. That's not ideal. Right. You take these panels off. 
deflate the tyres, take the tyre off and uh, get access to the bearings, slack of the bearings off and mash this across with a chisel and then tighten it all up again and it's pushing it down but the thing is when you're in below this you get a bit of cover that much recently. It's just sliding off now. There's before. I was using hammers because it didn't, hadn't been touched in as long. So I can get the tyre off because they're that pressured against each other. Don't lose the dust cap. Hope I'm not the only one that's good at losing dust caps. Ended up taking those cows to uh, where they needed to go. So that's me back to this machine. Where is my ugga dugga gun? The ugga dugga! You have to do that every time you pick it up, come on. Right, take this tyre off. Open up the, the bearing bit. I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> and then uh, slacken the bearings off and start walloping. I hope it's as easy as that. I think it is. I can't wait. Uh, right. Pretty sure there's a 17 or something. Chrome socket, don't care. one fell under the machine so remember that notches around the bearing there's a thing behind it and you, you fold the flap down and that's what holds it tight so I'll need to bend that up and then I can slacken it off and then I need to do the same at the other side Walloping, I suppose. We thin screwdriver would be bra right now. What's this stuff. Aye. Right. Find its tab, bend it back, and <laughs> slacken it off as well. I think 
that's enough. Now for the other side. <laughs> Trying not to hit the camera here. now is to try moving it over with my club hammer here but it's that far jammed over I'm gonna to struggle to get my wedge in there I mean last time I was able to get this wedge in down here not too bad but it looks like it could be bit more of a squeeze this time. Could be a wee finger jammer. I'll see if I can try and get this angle right. get this wedge down in the back of it I'm sure I've got it to move a little bit with that but it's not going that well so I found this other wedge that has had a bit of abuse but just got to, I've sharpened the tip to see if it'll you know it's it was it's not as fat as the end of that fat as the end of that one so I'm going to try and see if this will slot in there and uh, then I'll swap to this one because it's easier to get out. I think. <laughs> Try and get my knuckles strapped here. it's touching that side so getting there now getting there now
Right. That took a bit of effort. But now I've moved my roller. <laughs> Should have switched the two hands a bit quicker than I did. <laughs> right. I'll tighten these bearings up first before I take the chisel out because it might move back and uh, put it back together <laughs> and hope it doesn't move. my breath back. <laughs> oh man. The reason I might have took a bit much effort to move these rollers with my hammer is uh, they're 900 kilos each. There's two of them but I was only moving one but still. Fair lad of weight. <laughs> um, so I I'll take a bit of effort to get that out of there. You hear it? <laughs> And uh, I don't know if I showed you the other chisel after I'd used it in there. Gubbed. I swear these jogs wouldn't take as long as I could remember where the hell I put things I just had two minutes ago. Or even 30 seconds ago. This is a different chisel I was using. Because I can't find the other one. Try not to wreck this, because that's the grease line for the bearing in here. Getting quite close to it. One done. Ish. This side's awkward because of the bar that holds the cover on for the tyres. Can't really get a swing at it, you know. I'll uh, try and attempt to remove the wedge. Put a chisel in here as well because I wasn't convinced the roller moved. But it has. So I'll take these wedges out and uh, then I'll get the flap, the tabs done because I'll be able to turn the rollers to the bit that will be. I'll be able to turn the rollers round to the bit for the tab to go over the bearing and hold it in place so it stays tight. But,
not. That thing's stubborn. say now <laughs> so my next course of action is to try and hit this down in <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna go or not but I don't see any other options <laughs> my arms are knackered <laughs> swinging hammers
going to need to keep doing what I'm doing and try and get there. <laughs> the Jenny bar now. I moved it right up to there and then I took them out and it's now moved back again a little bit so not really what you want to see I would rather it was further over here but it's definitely got a gap for how long job. What a job. <laughs> right, that'll, that'll do for today's video. Just got to put it back together. <laughs> <laughs>